Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel. I'm now answering question number three from the Pure Mathematics P4 International A Level at Excel paper um, from June 2022. This question here is about related rates of change. It says a tablet is dissolving in water. The tablet is modeled as a cylinder as shown in figure one. The radius is x and the length of the cylinder is 3x. At t seconds, after the tablet is dropped into the water, the radius of the tablet is x millimeters. And the length of the tablet is 3x millimeters. The cross-sectional area of the tablet is decreasing at a constant rate of 0.5 millimeters squared per second. Find the x dt when x equals 7. Okay, so that's what we've been asked to do here. Okay, so in these type of questions, there's always something that they've given us and something that they've asked us to find. So what have they given us? They've given us a rate of change and there's a rate of change that they're asking us to find, all right? So first of all, let's write down what's given. Okay, so first of all, let's write down what's given. So what's given to us in the question? They've told us that in terms of rates of change, the cross-sectional area of the tablet is decreasing at a constant rate of 0.5 millimeters squared per second. That means the rate of change of the area, which is the ADT, if we call the cross-sectional area A, this is the ADT. Okay, so we can say the cross-sectional area, we're going to call it A. Okay, so the ADT is decreasing... So very important, you have to have a minus sign, it's decreasing, it's going down, at a rate of 0 0.5 millimeters squared per second. X is in millimeters, this is in millimeters squared, that's fine, the units are compatible, that's fine. So that's what's given to us. And what we have to find is dx dt. We've got to find what dx dt is, and when x equals 7, we can deal with that after we've got the expression for dx dt. So we've got to find dx dt. Now, what we do is, in this other question, you write down, in terms of the letters, what they've given us, which is the ADT. And then you think to yourself, what do I multiply that by? So I end up with dx dt. I have to end up with this. Well, we need a dx in the numerator, so there must be a dx here. And we need to get rid of the da from the numerator um, here, so we've got to have dA underneath here, those will cancel out and you're left with dx dt. So basically from this what we can deduce now is we have dA dt, we need to find dx dA. We need to find, so the third step now is for us to find what's left here, which is dx dA. Now how do we find dx dA? Well let's find the cross-sectional area in terms of x of this cylinder. Now the cross-sectional area is the area of just this circular part. And we know that the, the cross-sectional area of a cylinder is of, a, of the area of a circle is pi r squared. And we know that r is equal to x here. So it's going to be pi x squared. So we can say a is equal to pi times x squared. We need the x dA. So let's find the a dx first. The a dx. Differentiate this a with respect to x. You get 2 times pi x. And then... That means the x dA is the reciprocal of that. The x dA is 1 over 2 pi x. Okay, so we can say the x dt, therefore, is the a dt, which is minus 0 0.5, which is say minus a half, for example, times the x dt, the x dA, which is 1 over 2 pi x. So therefore, we can have an expression for the x dt. The x dt is equal to negative 1 over 4 pi x. So they asked us to find the x dt when x is 7. So now we simply say when x equals 7, when x equals 7, dx dt is equal to 1, negative 1 over 4 pi times 7, which is negative 1 over 28 pi, and that's um, millimeters per second. The x dt will be millimeters per second. Okay, so that's the value of the x dt when x equals 7. So um, let's now go on to part B of this question. Okay, that concludes part A. Now we can leave our answer exactly like this. Um, 
There's no problem with that. You can also leave your answer in terms of like 3SF if you want to. I'm sure that would also be fine. So you could, if you if you are, if you leave your answer as 1 over 28 pi. Don't forget the negative sign. You will have z negative 0 0.0114 to 3SF. Negative 0 0.114 millimeters per second. Okay, millimeters per second. All right, that will be, either of those would be correct. I personally would prefer to leave it in terms of pi. I think that's better. But both of them should be correct here. They didn't tell you find the exact value of if you said find the exact value of then you leave it in terms of pi for sure okay now for part question three um i've written down what i think we might need from part a it says find according to the model the rate of decrease of the volume of the tablet when x equals four so now we we have from the question the adt the adt was negative 0 0.5 and we found the xdt as minus one, 1 over 4 pi x. This is constant, and this is depending on what x is. All right, so now it says, find according to the model the rate of decrease of the volume of the tablet when x equals 4. Okay, so... Second here, it says here. Yeah, okay. So now... All right, so we've got to find the rate of decrease of the volume, which is dv dt. Okay, dv dt is the rate of decrease of the volume. So that's going to be equal to, um, basically, we need to use what, we, we've give, what we're given here. So basically, I'm going to try to use the dx, dx dt, which I already have. If I multiply that by dv dx, that will leave me with dv dt, which I'm trying to find. So dx dt, I, f I know what dx dt is. And I can work out what dv dx is quite easily because I can write down an expression for the volume of the cylinder and differentiate that. So that's what I need to do. I need to find what dv dx is. So the volume of this cylinder, now remember the volume of a cylinder is pi r squared h. In this case, r is equal to x and h is equal to 3x. So v is equal to pi times x squared times 3x. So v is going to be 3 times pi times x cubed, which means dv dx, dv dx is going to be 3 times 3, which is 9 pi x squared. So that's dv dx. So I can say dv dt is equal to dx dt, which is minus 1 over 4 pi x multiplied by dv dx, which is 9 pi x squared. 9 pi x squared. So we can see the pi's cancel out and one of the x's cancel out. So we're left with dv dx being 9 pi negative 9x over 4. Okay, so we got to find dv, d, dv d, sorry, d, this is dv dt, not dv dx. What am I talking about? dv dt. So dv dt, the rate of change of the volume, when x equals 4, is going to be minus 9 over 4, times 4 over 4, the 4s cancel out, which is minus 9. So dv dt is equal to negative 9. dv dt is equal to negative 9 um, millimeters cubed per second. Millimeters cubed per second. So the question says, find the rate of decrease of the volume. So therefore, when you say the rate of decrease, I don't have to write the negative sign. Okay, the rate of decrease of the volume, I shouldn't write as negative 9. It's going to be 9 millimeters cubed per second. dv dt is negative 9 millimeters cubed per second. 
that means the volume is decreasing at a rate of 9 millimeters per second. So if they ask us to write down the rate of decrease, I don't put the negative sign here because rate of decrease means it's going down. That's a little point that's important. Okay, I'm not sure when the masking comes out, we'll see whether they were very strict about that or not, but that's for sure correct that if they ask you for the rate of decrease, you write it as a positive value because that that's like if you know it's, it's going down by that much that's what it means decrease means going down okay so there's the answer to that question which is question number three part b okay pretty straightforward i think um so that concludes question number three from this p4 paper of june 2022 other questions from this particular paper can be found in the link that will appear somewhere in this region here other questions from this topic which is to do with differentiation of um, P4 can be found in this particular um, playlist over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.